So that was a thing that just happened. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I just got done watching Revenge of the Sith. I'm interested in this movie. I liked the movie-ish, but I don't think it was very good. It didn't seem to have incredibly compelling characters. Anakin goes from being creepy in his love for Padme to being kind of charming in like a star-crossed way in his love for Padme to being just a straight up whiny, I don't know. He, he just was annoying. Like, that's all he was. He was the equivalent of me making these movies. All he does is whine about things. And I didn't like it. <laughs> so Revenge of the Sith starts out with a, a whole bunch of action scenes, like, straight off the bat from uh, Anakin and from his master, um, Obi-Wan. You can feel the tension rising on the political level. And I, I got to say with the entire prequel trilogy, I really enjoy the amount to which they talk about political stuff. I like that political intrigue. In the second movie, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit more. It opens up right away with, with one of those huge scenes of a... Uh, of a starship going over you and then you kind of as the camera go around the starship and um it, it does play around a little bit with like which way is up and I liked that um because when you think on such a grand scale as uh, the planets and you think about which way would be up while you're going from planet to planet to planet. Truly, if you're upside down, you're not going to even feel like you're upside down in space going from planet to planet. There is no upside down. So as you're flying, if you go, if, if you like turn around, does it even feel like you've turned around? You know, these are probably all questions that people ask when they're in kindergarten, but I'm just asking them now when I'm 32. Um, this is a very interesting movie. I like watching the downfall of, of Anakin, um, but it's not a very appealing movie. Like, I, I guess it's just, it's very dark. And while I like dark, I like dark humor, and I especially like character studies. I don't feel like there's a lot of meat here of why Anakin becomes evil the way he does. Um, I, I guess I, I did enjoy, like the parts I enjoyed were like watching Emperor Palpatine uh, just complete his transition to becoming the, the evil character that he's destined to become. I thought that was fun to watch. And we watched Anakin um, become evil. And I, while I guess it's not compelling, <laughs> I don't know. It almost feels too compelling in a way because while I don't feel like his reasons are incredibly compelling, uh, the reasons that Emperor Palpatine gives for becoming evil and for the dark side are very good reasons. It almost feels like George Lucas was writing an entire story to try to humanize villains to me. Uh, like, like the Jedi actually are villains. They have no emotions. They don't care for people. Obi-Wan cuts off his, his arms and literally watches Anakin as he is slowly devoured by flames. That's evil. And you hear several times people saying like, he's too evil to be saved. <laughs> he's, he has too much evil in him. He shouldn't be saved. And you see like Emperor Palpatine they say that about him several times that they shouldn't save him and then Anakin does save him and that's what brings Anakin to the dark side as I watch the Jedi I just go uh you're you're not good <laughs> I I don't feel like they're good characters and I don't mean like well written like they're they're well written enough they're just not good they are bad bad people 
And this movie convinced me of that. So when I'm watching Anakin go to the dark side and I'm supposed to think it's a bad thing, but I'm watching it and I'm going, yeah, Emperor Palpatine, you're making some valid points here. Then it kind of loses my like hatred for the dark side, which means I don't mind seeing Anakin go to the dark side because I think think he might be right does this all make me a really bad person <laughs> the other part to this movie that i did actually like was when they had the uh the political rally or like all the senators are around that whole setting is very creative the one line from this movie that i really liked <laughs> this is how democracy falls with thunderous applause and i think that's a really good line i think that's a very applicable line for today by the end of this movie i decided that i was a fan of the dark side and that I would much rather be a Sith Lord than a Jedi. And by the end of this movie, also, I had decided that Anakin was a whiny baby and Padme was one of the weakest women I've ever seen. So there's not a lot of positives <laughs> or things that make me actually like this movie. <laughs> it's a well put together movie. It's it's finely put together. Um, the CGI oddly seemed, it may just be that the CGI was more fun in the second movie. Um, I, th I think that movie had more fun CGI. In Revenge of the Sith, the CGI is just cheesy. And I think probably that comes from the overall very serious tone this movie takes on. And then you see this cheesy CGI mixed with this very serious film or very serious tone at least. Um, and that just, the, the, the tonal dissonance of the two uh, makes for a not very good experience. From the very opening scene, when that huge spaceship comes in, and as a camera, we like pan around it, and from our point of view, we can see this giant spaceship. It's more creatively done. Like it's it's very creative. It it has a lot of intricacies to it, um, but that very opening establishing shot made me think, oh yeah, we're in for a cheese fest of CGI, and it just wasn't uh, it just wasn't as well done as the other movies. I mean, it didn't really work as a character study either. So I I, I like you just don't learn that much about Anakin. You see that he is whiny and that he wants his own way and that he's frustrated about everything about life. I just. I don't see a lot of, of positives with this film. I am going to give Revenge of the Sith fifth place out of the six movies I have reviewed. Um, and I am not going to review the two newest films. I may watch them, but then I'm going to come back at you with one larger film or one larger video uh, that's going to discuss my theories about what is going to happen in this episode nine um and what i would like to see i doubt it's gonna happen but i mean it's worth it's worth talking about now that i have seen all six movies and watched them in the order that i was supposed to watch them when i was like 13 even though i didn't watch them when i was 13 <laughs> so thank you guys for watching today i review disney movies on a semi-regular basis i also have a full-time job so this is just something that i do for fun but if you would like to join me i'd love to have you guys down in the comments talking about disney star wars marvel movies um so come check out check out my channel uh subscribe down below and uh i'll talk to you guys again later bye